Welcome to the Ogles Channel. They have a special unboxing of the TA Mutant Ninja Turtle Party Wagon. Now, this is a little bit hard to come across in the four figures. The four uh, figures I came across um, about two months ago. We did an unboxing on this channel, but I've been on the lookout for the Party Wagon for a solid, I guess, since like August, maybe, maybe July. It's been a while. And I finally came across one at our local Walmart, and uh, there are actually two on the shelf. One, one box was completely destroyed, and the one that we got here is actually a little bit damaged on the side. But um, even with that damage bit, it was still the best one that I've seen because I've only seen I've only seen the two, and the other one was completely destroyed. But um, today we're going to be doing a full unboxing of this, taking a look at the box, what comes inside the box, how well the uh, the turtle van looks when it comes to that, and just really go through it and break it all down. So let's get started. So of course here we have the front of the box, and like I said, there is a dent along the left hand side here, and you can see a little bit better there. And um, yeah, I wish it was perfect, but I mean, it's about as good as I can get since I couldn't even really find these anywhere. But the artwork on the front is wonderful. It looks exactly the same as it did when I was a kid on the original box. The only difference I can see here is the, uh, the choking hazard. I don't think there's a choking hazard on the original box, but I could be wrong on that. But outside of that, the artwork, fantastic. On the side here, uh, we have where it says, you know, information about it, a mutant attack van, spring action foot tenderizer weapon, anti-foot blasters and wacko bombs and sits six figures comfortably. Only thing different here is I think it has the Nickelodeon logo and that might not have been in the, on the original box. Well, it certainly wasn't on the original box. <laughs> on the back, and um, it seems like this it should be upside down actually, uh, perhaps. It has more information about it. It says, congratulations, you are now the proud owner of the most advanced party vehicle ever designed. Yes, turtle technology at its best and it's yours all yours and look at that i mean that's uh you can read more on that if you'd like to pause the video but it's a nice little description of the entire thing there and right here it says we have a foot tenderizer i'm not really sure what a foot tenderizer is i always thought it was just a uh spring loaded door <laughs> i'm not sure what a tenderizer is and of course you got all the different uh labels for the different weapons and the uh, uh information about the turtle van in and of itself i'll be honest i never knew what any of this stuff was called when i was a kid I just knew I had a turtle van or the uh, party party wagon. And I think I actually called it the turtle van, truth be told, growing up as well. All this looks original. Once again, different things like YouTube channel, uh, Facebook, websites down here. That wouldn't have been on there back in the original days either. Let's look at the last side here. Uh, same information on this side. Um, on these sides here, you know, similar stuff. Uh, same information, just simply a different picture on each side. All right, so let's uh, open it up. All right, so we got it out of the box here. Now let's take the plastic off the side. And of course we have the, uh, the assembly stuff over here. Uh, nothing on, on this piece, we're gonna discard it off to the side. And we get our first look at the uh, turtle van in and of itself. And honestly, it looks, uh, it looks amazing. I mean, that is some quality work on there. The plastic looks great. The coloring looks wonderful. Um, I mean, it's great. Now to my memory, uh, and I could be wrong on this, the stickers did not come on the van itself when I was a kid. I thought you got to put the stickers on there because I seem to remember not placing the stickers on there when I was a kid. But I could be wrong on some of the stickers. That I'm not sure about. But let's uh, assemble the few things here and we'll take a look at it again. Okay, <laughs> there we go. You had to push a little bit harder to get that uh, in there as you went. So let's put all this back in there, assembly-wise, and let's get the rest of this assembled onto the party wagon. All right, according to this, we put a machine gun blaster on the top here that oh, fits snugly together. And it should fit into the side over here. Perfect. All that fits in there uh, very, very snugly, very nicely. Let's get the other side done as well. A little machine gun turret on that one as well. And let's push this into the side. I will say, I will say this assembles very, very nicely. 
Uh, the parts are a little bit on the uh, flimsy side, but that's probably how they were of the original toys. That I can't remember for sure. All right, that was a little bit hard to get in there, but that'd be all right. And that should go in there. Perfect. And so all of our gadgets and gizmos are assembled. Um, I was thinking there was a sticker on these as a kid. Um, there's a sticker on the on the box here for these. There's no sticker on the uh, bombs themselves in this particular kit. I think that's missing from the original, but I'm not positive on that. All right, so there's the uh, the turtle van assembled, put in all the different uh, mirrors and turrets and uh, satellite dishes and all that would, have, of course, go on it. And let's see the turtle van in action. Of course, everyone knows when you uh, knock the top open, the uh, emergency door comes out, or I'm sorry, the foot tenderizer comes out there. The little door opens up here for the turtles to walk out. And of course, this looks exactly like it was uh, back in the 80s. The spring action is amazing. I know when I had this in the 80s, um, I broke this off multiple times this door. So seeing a door that's in perfect shape is uh, something that's sort of new to me, to be honest. The quality of this is fantastic. The coloring could not be more accurate to my memory. There's not a, a sketchy paint job like some of the uh, figures we had from the earlier ones. The only difference I can see is perhaps, um, no, it shuts perfectly. I just didn't have it pushed down all the way. And so honestly, this is a great, this is a great little uh, re-endition of the turtle vehicle. So actually the top does not flatten down completely over here. I can't say if that's something wrong with the current mold or if that was something that was the case with the original turtle vehicle as well. But let's put some figures in and just sort of see how it looks as an overall. All right, something else has just come up as I was assembling this here at the turtles. I know for a fact there was a rubber band that came with that as a kid to hold the turtle in. You were not expected to have your own uh, rubber band here. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. There was a rubber band earlier. Is this... Mm, that is a rubber band, but I am... That is not the intended purpose. That was just a rubber band that held the uh, uh, bombs together. But I guess you could use this rubber band, perhaps? Mm, no, that rubber band barely even stretches across it. I mean, if that's the rubber band they're expecting, there ain't no turtle who's going to be sitting behind that. They just failed to give us a rubber band on this particular uh, turtle unit. And so that's a little bit of a bummer, but otherwise, all the turtles fit in there perfectly, and uh, it looks really good. And you know, the more that I play with the, uh, the top here, I'm telling you, there's just something that's uh, a little off about it. <laughs> it doesn't fit quite right, like I mentioned earlier. It's a little bit on the loose side, a little bit on the janky side up here. Something's not quite right at the top here. I don't know exactly what it is, but my memory as a kid is that was built a little bit more sturdy. But otherwise, let's, uh, let's take a look at it overall. Overall, the turtle van is not uh, perfect, but it is a really good reissue of the original. Like I said, there's a few things that are a little bit off. Like you don't get to place your own uh, stickers on the turtle van. The top doesn't close uh, quite right according to my memory. There's no rubber band included on the little seat that pops out. But at the same time, you're getting a turtle van in 2021, and for the first time ever, you might have a door that's not broken off the side, because I know mine was as a kid, and from what I've seen on memes and such, yours probably was too. So this is your first time you may get a fully functional turtle door as an adult. But overall, the color's great, the construction minus the top, top notch, um, everything, you know, there's a little spring action, great overall reissue of the turtle van. And for the price tag, I definitely recommend it if you can find it in Walmart yourselves. I wouldn't pay the scalper prices because, I mean, you could probably buy the original turtle van for the same price. I would just simply wait until you can find one in your local Walmart. Now, the only one I haven't come across in the wild yet is the turtle blimp, but if I do come across it, we'll do an unboxing on the channel just like we did for this one and for the original four main figures as well. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, go out there, find a great game to play. You simply have a great rest of the day.